had, you know, a pretty noteworthy set of chops, even though I think the band was never really given the credit for their musical virtuosity because they also had an edge and a, and a kind of sense of uh, pushing at the boundaries of sound uh, that made them rough in a certain way. It was pretty obvious at that time, between March and uh, after Dave joined the group, June, that we needed somebody else to take over the lead singing duties. I just wasn't cutting it. You know, I, I have a lower voice and not much range. And uh, Sam, all, although he sounds a lot better, didn't want it to, to be the lead singer either. Um, so we started auditioning vocalists. Chet had gone to school in, at the University of Texas in Austin with Janis Joplin. And he said, I know this woman in Texas. She's really good, very good singer. She came out here and kind of failed and went back home. But, you know, maybe we should call her. I saw her perform at the coffee gallery. Um, sort of a post beatnik coffee house bar in North Beach, San Francisco. It was about 1963. She was part of this uh, folk crowd. People that just hung around these coffee house bars and playing for chump change and peanuts. I was a folk singer, <laughs> you know, and sang blues mostly, country blues, all time blues, slow. Big. Didn't you have a job soldering once? Or... Soldering? No, a key punch operator. It was a matzo ball. Uh, <laughs> I was a waitress in a bowling alley once too, baby. <laughs> Two Schlitz, no <laughs> <laughs> French fries. And make it snappy. <laughs> You're not originally from this area. Texas. Texas. Port Arthur, Texas. There's lots of bowling alleys one. down here. She came to try out with Van. She'd just come from Texas, and Chet brought her in there. I believe she was wearing sandals and a very dowdy kind of summer dress. So she came over there the first time, and she was wearing uh, some torn Levi's, the, the knees were torn out, and she had these Mexican harachis on her feet, and she had a uh, blue uh, uh, sweatshirt that was all, all torn and covered with paint. She was wearing like a cashmere sweater, and her hair was up in a bun or something like that. She had shorts on and like a cotton blouse, and she had her hair up, and you know, nothing in particular. Uh, not striking physically whatsoever, you know, just like an ordinary person, but uh, real uncompromising and tough, and, you know, you weren't going to put anything over on her. She wasn't real loud or, or, you know, forceful or aggressive. She was somewhat quiet and demure until she began to sing. The moment she started singing with us, it was, it was apparent to me that she was the person we were looking for. She was very strong. She was very strong, and she just had a really authentic voice. And all set on 